My name is Balogun James uh, and I'm from Nigeria. My name is Tetana Nobuse, I'm uh, from Ethiopia. My name is Dr. Faith Muchemwa and I'm from Harare in Zimbabwe. I'm uh, Samuel Hailu, uh, I'm from Ethiopia. My name is Dr. Grace Muthani, I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. My name is uh, Gele Tauta Samawakele, uh, I'm from Ethiopia. Theodros Talaun Zerfu, I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Ethiopia. When I became chair of the Department of Surgery some seven years ago, I made uh, global surgery a priority for our department. It's now a pillar in our strategic plan because that was really important for us to have the social responsibility to reach out to the rest of the world. The Prakash Fellowship in particular enables us to have fellows who come to the University of Toronto training in a multitude of different disciplines within the Department of Surgery. Trainees are learning new procedures every day. They're participating in the surgery, looking after the care of patients who are uh, desperately ill from their problems in surgery. So every day of the year, this gift of Mr. Prakash is making a difference. It's probably been one of the best years of my life, really. It's been life-changing. Um, I made new friends, increased my professional network, um, increased my skill set, you know, and learned how to be both a surgeon and a scientist, a lot of things which I can take back home. I enjoyed the collegial fellowshipping of the plastic surgery team at University of Toronto. You know, even though everyone was working at different hospitals, we still managed to find time to fellowship together. You ended up knowing each other and becoming friends. The instructors were fascinating, great people. Everybody was interested to teach me. I was so happy throughout the year. The Prakash Fellowship uh, gave me an opportunity to really interact with the faculty who are stars, so to say, in neuro-oncology and epilepsy surgery, as well as the treatment of hydrocephalus. All those people that, that have trained under these famous surgeons, uh, coaching you how to do it, I think it's a big deal for me. Imagine coming from a place where there's only two trainers and going to a place where there are 13 trainers. So in terms of exposure to procedures, in terms of um, availability of equipment and all of that, I think it really was helpful for me to be here. They train with us for six months to a year, sometimes more, and then they go back to their jurisdictions to do surgery as they've been trained in Toronto in their locations. And the impact of those types of surgeries, those operations in really desperate populations in the world has been uh, staggering and amazing. Now you're going back to the same place where you came from, but now with all these ideas and all this exposure. So it made me, you know, more knowledgeable and I was able to help my patients even better. I work uh, at the Curie International Hospital. We give uh, free orthopedic care for all the children under the age of 18. Ethiopia has 100 million people and uh, it's the only children's orthopedic hospital in the country. I had no experience in dealing with complex trauma that we saw here. Had it not been for the fellowship, it would have been tough to even think of doing some of the things that I'm doing at the moment. We go out, not only our service, but with our residents, so that we can give service and we can decrease the waiting list of the patients, and also we can increase the training of our residents. I also have, you know, closer to my heart, um, a small mission hospital, uh, which is where I hope to make an impact in when I go back home that reaches out to the um, community and, and the people who are not able to reach uh, the neurosurgeon in the big city of Nairobi. You don't know how to understand these people were suffering before. Now everything is changed, you know, the, our teaching, our um, treatment, and everything is changed in our university. We're starting fellowship just from South Sudan, so not only for Ethiopia. So we are also sharing our knowledge, attitude, and uh, a skill to other, uh, our uh, African brothers and sisters. Mr. Parakash, you know, he is a single person. He brought this idea and he gave something for me. And where is my role? You know, I have to also to do this. There's a big fire on my heart just to help others. Mr. Prakash is amazing. He's an incredible uh, human being. It's really uh, possible 
by uh, donating uh, strategically to a cause to make a uh, significant difference in the world. And for this, I truly thank him. Thank you for your generosity. I really would like to thank you, Mr. Prakash, for affording me the opportunity to study in Canada. I don't think I would have been able to do this otherwise. I want to say thank you, and I'm sure uh, that the whole of Nigeria will say thank you. I, I can't say uh, thank you enough for what you have done. Because of your generous contribution, uh, many lives have been touched. As you've always said, you know, each one teach one. So I will take this knowledge back um, to my people and make a difference. I'm a Sagnalo. Eshi. I'm a Sagnalo. Asanti. I'm a Sagnalo. I'm a Sagnalo. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.